In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using third-party WPF controls with PowerBuilder.net. Now, third-party WPF controls can be obtained from a variety of sources. Uh, there are vendors that sell them, such as Telerik, and you can go to their website and you can actually download a trial version and install that on your PC. I've already done that, so the next step is to add these controls to my PowerBuilder toolbox so that I can use them in my application. I have already have a window created, and if I go over to the toolbox, I can right-click and select Add Tab, and give it a name. I'll just say Telerik WPF Controls. And then right-click on that tab again, and select Choose Items. This will open up a dialog that lets you select the WPF controls that are on your machine. Just click on the WPF Components tab and wait for the list of WPF components to be available. They're sorted alphabetically, and if you're looking for particular vendor's controls, sorting by namespace is the fastest way to find them. So I'll just sort and go down here to Telerik controls. Uh, I actually want to use the rad color picker control, so we'll go ahead and click OK, and you can see that it's now been added to the toolbox. I'll also show you how you can add base WPF controls that come with the .NET Framework. And we'll just go to Choose Items again, let that dialog window come up. Again, click on the WPF Components tab. And once the controls are listed, I'm going to scroll down here and just grab a base text box control. Click OK and now we can see that control is also available. At this point, all you need to do is drag the control from the toolbox, drop it on your form. And we'll also add the text box control. And in the text box control, let's add some text. And we now have our controls on the window. And the next step is to uh, capture the color selection change and apply it to the text box. If I go to the script editor, uh, I can choose my control, but the first thing I want to do, because this Telerik control actually utilizes uh, controls from the .NET framework, I want to add in a using clause so that it will save me some typing. I'm going to use the system.windows.media namespace. I go down to the window base assembly and scroll down. I can find systems.windows.media. Click OK. And that's now available uh, in my window for me to use in the application. The next step is to uh, go to the Tools menu and select Options. By default, the .NET events and functions do not get displayed if they don't have script in them. And we want to be able to see those events in the script editor, so we'll go to the Applies to drop-down and select Script Editor, and then select Show Unscripted .NET Events and Functions. And then we'll go ahead and click OK, and save our window. We will have to close and reopen the window for those events to become visible. But now if we go to the script editor, we can select the rad color picker and see in the drop down here all of the events that are available. And we want to find the selected color changed event. And We'll paste in some code. Here we're using the Solid Color Brush class. That's part of the .NET framework uh, in that uh, system.windows.media uh, namespace. And I just declare uh, a data type called my brush. We use the create statement to instantiate that class, just like you would with a po standard PowerBuilder NVO. And then we can get the selected color property from the uh, third-party WPF control and assign it to that solid color brush which can then be set uh, we can set the foreground property of the text box to that 
Now, one nice thing that uh, Power Builder offers you is the IntelliSense feature. If we select my brush dot color equals this dot, here we can see all of the properties functions that are available in that third-party WPF control and the selected color property is the one we're using. So I'll go ahead and delete that extra line and save our changes. So if we go back to the window we'll see in the XAML code that we've got if we select the color picker we can see that the Telerik color picker, rad color picker is available one important thing you need to be aware of with Power Builder and third-party controls is that the name must be in lowercase uh, for the Power Builder compiler to bind that control with the events that are available. So if the default name has mixed case or has uppercase characters, just change them all to lowercase and then everything will be fine. So we'll go ahead and uh, compile our target and in the output window you can see that the jam, uh, XAML is being uh, generated and the application successfully was built and if we click on the running man toolbar button we'll see our window if I click the drop down because I am running the trial version I get a nag screen click cancel and then let's select red as our color and we can see that the selection color is being applied to the text, the foreground text of the text box. And that is a simple example of using third-party WPF controls in a PowerBuilder.NET application.